Future Looks Computex 2011 coverage is brought to you by Kingston's new HyperX plug and play memory kits, NZXT's crafted gaming armor, and Gigabyte's G1 Killer Series gaming motherboards. Welcome to Silverstone's booth here at Computex 2011. Uh, let's go right into the new products that we have. After releasing Strider Gold uh, late last year, we're quickly updating them uh, with new air penetrator fans. That's made uh, the round in our new cases. We're now going to start implementing them into our power supplies as well. So you can see the signature grill from the air penetrator fan. Uh, they allow us to slow down the fan speed even further because of their uh, superior cooling ability. So at maximum load, they on average can run around 400 RPM lower than before and are idle about 100 RPM lower than before. So they'll make really, really fine power supply. And with a few tweaks, uh, they're also a, a couple of percent more efficient than before. This is the Zeus uh, 1350 watt power supply with peak uh, rate rating of 1500 watt. Okay, this is a very close to uh, final production that you'll see. There's a fan speed switch that will allow you to change fan speed from auto to full speed. There's another switch that will allow you to adjust single to multi-rail settings with three potential meters to allow you to fine tune 3.3 uh, 3 volt, 5 volt and 12 volt rails. And also 100% modular cabling will be standard. So we're really aiming at this power supply for industrial customer and also for overclocking enthusiasts. And the second new power supply that we have on at the show here is the uh, near production ready ST50NF. It's the third generation fitness power supply that we have. Okay, you can see from this this angle, it looks very similar to our older uh, 450 watt version, but it has thicker uh, heat sink not only on the top but also inside. So with with uh, efficiency improvements, we're able to get. 50% loading and 100% loading up to uh, silver and gold levels. So this is this is going to be a really cool running uh, fitness power supply that uh, a lot of people will be using for recording studios or for dusty environments. For HTPC, we're releasing a brand new version of our full ATX size HTPC case in the GD07 and the GD08. Okay, with the new case now, uh, we're able to keep the same uh, same dimension that we had before with the standard ATX HTPC case that we that we released back in 2005 with the LC16 and the LC17. But we upgraded the cooling ability and storage capacity. So now with the GDOA, for example, you are now able to fit up to eight hard drives and five 120 millimeter fans inside for the same case that we. It's the same case size as before. So it's really uh, quite an achievement. And for the GDO7, uh, a front aluminum door will reveal up to four five and a quarter inch drive bays with the ability for you to mount still seven hard drives inside. This is quite a lot of storage space. There's two optional 80 millimeter fan slots on the back of the case with two 120 millimeter fan on the right side. And there's an independent air intake for the power supply on this side with a magnetic fan filter included. So the rest of the 120 millimeter fans will be found underneath the case. So you can fit up to three in the GDO8 and two in the GDO7. And for GDO7, one of the features that we added over uh, the GDO6, which also has a front aluminum door covering up the drive base, is that we keep we, we made a switch here that when you close the door you won't be able to uh, activate the power button so that when you have little kids running in the living room you know they they, they won't be able to mess up your uh, whatever you're doing with your HTPC at the time and one other neat uh, li little feature that we added into our new uh, HTPC cases now is the ability to adjust the LED lights on the front so there's a rotary dial on the bottom front of the case it allows you to change the brightness level of the LED. 
This is a SG08. Uh, it's the same case as the SG07, but with a 10 millimeter thick aluminum front panel and USB 3.0 connectors included. Okay, same gray case, but uh, different styling on the front. This is the KL04 case, and here's the TJ04-E. Okay, both of these front panels will go on to this uh, same body. What we try to emphasize here with this case is the ability to maximize all the space inside a mid-tower case. Okay, so this, this case is the same size as the original TJ04 that was released in 2004, but now you can fit up to nine hard drives without sacrificing any of the space for the graphics card. We're showing a very extreme example here with the OEM uh, 29X XTX graphic card that's over 13 inches long. So with the 5970 or 6990, which are the longest graph, uh, consumer graphics card that you can get right now, those are 12.2 inches. So they will only come up to about here and they won't interfere with the hard drive cable size. And you might be wondering, how are you going to cool all this hard drive packed so tightly inside this case? So you have to come over to this other side where we left uh, two uh, fan slots for 120 millimeter fans, for two of them. For the TGL-04, we'll, we will include aluminum heat sinks, actually two of them, for you to attach directly to the hard drive. So they'll cool the hard drive better. That's a really nice mid-tower for those uh, looking to build a very nice PC. And for those um, that are maybe folding at home enthusiasts or maybe they work at a university or research center, that there's a lot of scientific calculations uh, with, you know, by utilizing GPUs. Uh, they'll really be, uh, I guess, pleased to see that uh, something like this is, is possible. This is our TJ12 concept case. Uh, as you can see, it has a very unusual uh, layout. Uh, it has a total of 19 slots on the top of the case. Okay, this allows you to fit six dual width graphics card with gaps in between. So you no longer need uh, water cooling or uh, very uh, or only a mid-range graphics card. You can install all six very high-end graphics card inside this case with air cooling only. Okay, what, what we've done here is we uh, utilize a PCI Express uh, extender ribbon cable to help us spread out uh, the original six or seven PCI Express slots on the motherboard. Okay, and because the, the case, I mean, with these graphics card have to hold a lot of weight of the graphics uh, over here on the top, these top panels are built of stainless steel okay, with the rest of the chassis being built from aluminum. And so with so much power, uh, power draw, uh, capable. Uh, we give give you room for two power supplies on the, on the rear. And with a SSD drive cage that allow you to install up to 12 SSD. Uh, since this is a prototype, we still haven't finished test finished uh, testing all, everything. So we don't know. Maybe some of these configuration may change uh, by next year when it goes into production. And those um, three 180 millimeter air penetrator fans can be replaced uh, by up to 10 or 8 uh, 120 millimeter fans. Our last new case that we're showing is the near production of TJ08, which we also show at CES, but that was a prototype. So this is more close to a final production version. So all the, as you can see, all the finish is a lot better. And we also have a more impressive uh, system built inside. You can see it fits two very long consumer graphics. Are. These are also, uh, I believe, uh, 69, 70, two of them, and you don't have to sacrifice your hard drive um, capacity just to fit these long graphics card like you would in a normal micro ATX case. And they have a uh, very nice CPU, adjustable CPU support underneath for heavy CPU cooler. Same thing with the GPU, there's a little separator here to help you, out, help you hold up the graphics card from sagging. Thin filters, very easy to remove. Fan speed switch for this front fan over here. Independent power supply air intake 
the magnetic air filter on top. And just like the TJ04E and KL04, we have two different uh, front panel uh, models for the same body. So one is completely aluminum front panel. This one has uh, mostly plastic, but with a nice uh, aluminum trim on the side. The mini door. So this configuration will have two 120 millimeter fans as opposed to one uh, 180 millimeter fans. So this is more geared toward uh, maybe office uh, for silent computing. And this is more geared for the enthusiast uh, with higher performance. Okay, so that's, um, that's basically a wrap of the Silver Stump booth here at Computex. Hope you like what you see and uh, you're welcome to give us feedback too on you know, especially our concept case.